What's up guys, it's your boy Diamond. Welcome back to Dime Up Cuz. Before we start the video, man, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. Now let's get into it. So today, James Harden was traded to my team, my favorite team, the Brooklyn Nets. Um, this was a great uh, addition to the team, but we gave up a lot, a lot. Many people like to bring up like the Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce situation where like uh, the Nets gave up like a ton a ton of picks a ton and um for and though and then those and it ended up being a horrible trade and then the celtics were able to get like jason tatum jalen brown whoop -de -whoop -whoop, right but um i feel like this was a great uh trade in my opinion but i'm gonna tell you some things that i do not like about it and other things as well um so here we go this is the entire trade for all four teams that were um associated with this so the rockets are going to get victor oladipo dante exum rodion's crooks three brooklyn first rounders one mil uh that's 22 24 and 26 one milwaukee first rounder 2022 unprotected four brooklyn first round swaps 2021 20, 23 25 and 27 the nets get james harden of course the pacers get karis lavert and a second rounder, and the Cavs get Jared Allen. Um, let me talk about the Rock, uh, the Nets, the Nets first. So the Nets, man, they improved offensively, amazingly, right? Offense, mwah. I saw their potential starting five on IG. It was like Kyrie, James Harden, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, and Jeff Green. That's that's crazy shooting. That's like almost small ball type play, but. That's crazy shooting. I like that shooting. It's going to be a fast-paced offense, which I like. I really like fast-paced offense, especially with the coaches, Steve Nash, uh, 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 Mike D'Antoni. That's going to be a great team, great uh, asset for that team, great everything for that team. But where's the defense? <laughs> like, where's your defense at? Like, we, we did – that's the problem. That's That's our problem. We need defense. That's the thing. Cause we're we're giving up 120 plus a, a lot of nights and losing close games because of our defense. We really need defense. And um, dang, bro, it's crazy. But yeah, man, like our I feel like our defense got worse by trading away like Jared Allen because I think DeAndre Jordan was out of the rotation and they were giving all the love to Jared Allen, and now Jared Allen's gone. So what are they going to do with DeAndre Jordan? Are they going to trade DeAndre Jordan to get a, a per, some perimeter defense off the bench or something? Because that starting five is that potential starting five is elite. They're going to be able to outscore. Hopefully they'll be able to outscore. And then the bench unit comes in, they play their defense, they do their thing, right? I hope that's what that's going to happen. I hope, but um, it's not always guaranteed. Not always guaranteed. Um, three minutes on this. Okay, so. And also, like, now that Jared Allen's gone, I mean, DeAndre Jordan is, like, is he coming off the bench? Which is most likely. I mean, Jeff Green's going to probably start. I, I wish Bruce Brown did start, but he probably not even going to be in the rotation, let's be honest. Um, And I heard they have, like, three roster spots. So I'm really, um, I'm really, um, what you call it, thinking of them trading. I mean, not trading. I mean, signing some free agents like uh, Dion Waiters. Is he even a free agent? I think he is. Dion Waiters, Jamon Shumpert, Isaiah Thomas, Jamal Crawford. Some players who are like, just give some players a chance. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I would like to see Iman Shumpert in Brooklyn. I mean, shoot. I, I kind of like I, Iman Shumpert. He's one of my favorite bench players of all time. Yeah. yeah. But now, let's go to the Rockets trade. Uh, the Rockets traded Karis LeVert to Indiana for Victor Oladipo. And I think, the, uh, I don't know exactly what the picks are, to be honest with you. I don't know, but uh, but uh, I feel like this was okay. I mean, Pacers fans, I've, there, I've seen mixed emotions. Like, some are happy, some are sad. Some feel like, some really don't even care. Um, but... I feel like this was a good move for the Pacers because Victor Oladipo, you know, as what good as a player he is, as good as a player D D Victor Oladipo is, he isn't the player he was. 
before he had that leg injury, he was like first all, first NBA, wooty woo woo, everything was going fine, right? But then boom, he takes the hit, doesn't play for like an entire season, comes back, doesn't look the same as he used to, and he I feel like he was asking for that max when his contract is up, coach. So I feel like them getting a player like Karis LeVert who is under contract already, um, they don't they didn't want to beat a team to pay to be stuck paying Victor Oladipo that max contract if he isn't back to what he used to be. Um, so, yeah, and I feel like Karis LeVert to the Pacers is a pretty good uh, trade, I guess. I mean, that team is already offensively good, and they just added to something better, you know. They'll have really good – I feel like their defense has improved a little as well. You know, Karis LeVert to me is an underrated defender. Um, I was kind of sad to see Karis LeVert go. You know, because I love watching him in the bubble. 50 points here, giving the Pacers a run for their money in the uh, in one of those games, man. So, um, I'm really sad to see him go. Another trade that happened is Jared Allen. Jared Allen was traded to the Cavs. I think that's the Don that's Dante Exum. That was the Dante Exum trade. Um, that's an under to me. That's an underrated tra uh, trade. Nobody's really talking about it um, because it's the Cavs, of course, but. I feel like this is a good one because now they have a center for the future. They have their point guard and shooting off for the future. They have their center for the future, you know. And to be honest, Jared Allen can learn from Andre Drummond because him and Andre Drummond have a similar play style. They both play the same way, kind of. You know, that back to the basket, rebound, offensive rebound, defensive rebound, block a shot and stuff. So that was a good pickup for the uh, Cavs as well. Now, many... People say that the the it won't work like the Nets with James Harden isn't gonna work, but I feel like it's gonna work. So I'm gonna break it down for you, okay? Basically, this looks like go the Golden State Warriors with KD on it. Basically, that's basically what this team is. You know, I mean, Kyrie, James Harden, and Kevin Durant, right? Kyrie's gonna be like a Stephen Curry, right? He's going to be able to get his buckets, obviously, but he's going to be like a primary playmaker, right? He's going to be able to make the plays, do this, do that. And with one of the greatest point guards of all time being the coach, who's better to coach Kyrie on doing those things? Steve Nash. And then you have uh, James Harden, who could run around screens, down screen, curl screens, uh, 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 one corner all the way to the left corner, down to the left wing. Wide open shot, most likely, or at least a little bit of space, because that's all he needs to get a shot off, you know? And Kevin Durant, just do what he did in Golden State, basically. Basically, this team is the Golden State Warriors, and I'm not mad at it. Shoot, I hated the Golden State Warriors. I was like, I hate this team. I hope this team never wins another championship, which might, might look like it. They're not anyway. But now that the team is now in Brooklyn, the, the Golden State Warriors are in Brooklyn, technically. Um, hey, bro, I'm ready. I'm ready to see how this works out. I mean, on paper, this looks amazing. But we need to see it firsthand. So, yeah, man, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, man, about this James Harden thing, about all the other trades. If you agree that that Cavs trade was underrated, it's an underrated trade, I promise you. And also, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride. And be with your boy, Don. And also... How can you like the video and not like it? Peace out, 100.